sing a song, a song declaring we belong to Jesus. He is all we need. Lift up a heart of praise, sing now with voices raised to Jesus. Sing to the to the praise and the worship that comes from this house because all that we do it comes from the heart amen it comes from our heart and our heart of gratitude for everything that Jesus has done for us can we just give him a shout of praise hallelujah come on say worthy is the king he's worthy of our praise and our worship and this house honors the holy spirit today and we say holy spirit have your way have your way you know everyone that is in this room and those that are watching online. Holy Spirit, you are Lord. And we ask you to have complete liberty. Minister today to everyone that is hearing what is going on in Grandview Church. And those that will hear later through media. We pray the anointing. It removes burdens and it destroys yokes today in Jesus' name. And we say, whom the Son has set free, whom the Son has set free, whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Oh, wind and waves be still 
attitude in our hearts this morning just to say thank you. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, don't let the praise stop in the house. We give you praise, Lord God. We are worthy. You are worthy of all of our praise this morning. There is none like you, Lord God. There is none. There is none, Lord. So we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, all my words for sure. I've got nothing new. How can I? How could I express all my gratitude? I could sing these songs as I often do, but every song must end, and you never do so. So I throw my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know it's not much, I've nothing else fit for a king, except for
Hallelujah, he's worthy of all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory this morning, God. You're worthy. You're worthy in the mighty name of Jesus. We worship you with lifted hands all over this place, giving you honor, reverence, reverencing you right here in your presence, God. We just trust you, Lord. We just declare right now that we trust in you, Lord God. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like, we trust you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory this morning, God. You're worthy. Come on, just begin to magnify him right where you are. Just begin to lay it all down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We exalt you right now in your presence, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. He's been my fourth man in the fire, time after time. Born of his spirit and washed in his blood. And what he did for is more than enough. I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Perfect
and he answered, I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. That's why I trust him. That's why I trust him. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard, and he answered. I sought the Lord, and he heard. God, you are so faithful. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He said in his word, those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. Yes. Oh, how he longs to fellowship with us. How he longs to spend time with us. There's nothing like being in the presence of a holy God. Amen. Would you with me, let's just lift our hands and invite him. I know what it's like to be in the presence of the Lord. And not know what time it is. Wow. Because time stood still. And bodies were healed. Right now, Jesus. And families restored he can do anything because we stayed here in the presence of the Lord no one had to say a word Couldn't even make a sound because give up everything for this treasure I found. I never wanted to win. Jesus, so I say, 
Spirit, please stay. I don't want you to go. Cause my heart is burning in your presence, Lord. Lord, I it's like I know what it's like let that be said about this house Lord to be in the presence of the Lord and not know what time it is and not not know what time it is we're not about the time and not know what time it is because time stood still stay come on Jesus, in your presence, lives are changed. Stay, Lord Jesus, in our hearts. When you show up, bodies are healed. Families are restored. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Come on, give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. you Lord we praise you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord we love you Lord thank you Lord praise you Lord 
you, Lord. You're worthy. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. our lives worthy of our lives everything we got came from him all the goodness came from him all the blessings came from him spiritual life eternal life came from him he is worthy of praise and worship he is worthy you know what gets me excited today Jesus said where two or three are gathered in his name He's right there in the midst. Just, just, let's just say, welcome, Jesus. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. Welcome, Jesus. Isn't it good to know the Lord is in the house? Isn't it good to know that the house is full of the Holy Ghost? Isn't it good to know that this is a house of expectation? Aren't you glad you're in a Word church, in a Holy Ghost church, in a faith church? in a celebrating church, uh, in a happy church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. You know, when the psalmist wrote that, a thousand years before Jesus, bless the Lord, oh, my soul and all that is within me. How about all that is within you? Give him everything. Let's give the Lord everything today. 
Amen. Let, let's just say, Lord, if I got it, I give it to you. Everything, Lord, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. That name, the name of Jesus, is the most powerful name in the universe. Every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I want to say that again. Jesus Christ is Lord. Doesn't that sound good? Jesus Christ is Lord. Well, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that of The Spirit would say, you have asked me, saith the Lord, you have asked me what is my next step forward, I will show you, saith the Lord. I will illuminate your path, saith the Lord. You have said, what do I do now? What is my next step forward? I have sensed in your heart your hunger to move forward, your desire to move forward, that you have an urgency in your spirit to move forward, but you want to take the right step. But you want to take the right step, saith the Lord. I will show you, I will show you, saith the Lord. Listen to me, trust me, listen to me. Trust me, saith the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. How many of y'all want to go forward and not backwards? <laughs> Amen. How many of y'all want to move forward and not just march in place? I like forward. I like leaning into it, going forward. Well, God is good. Amen? 
all the time. God is good. God is good. Well, let's take a moment and turn to your neighbors and greet one another in the love of the Lord and tell them this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. one very very important message and then Debbie's going to come and do uh, some announcements but right out front here in the parking lot right out front of the uh, lobby doors um, there's a Hyundai tag number 292 TP and uh, it, it has around the license plate Korean War veteran thing your doors are locked your car doors are locked and your motors on so you're you're using up gas <laughs> you're using up that liquid gold so uh, go out there turn your car off and then come back in <laughs> don't drive away come back in we would have turned it off for you but your doors are locked and so that's a Hyundai and it's a Tucson Hyundai and tag number is 292 TP we got it good hallelujah Amen. And uh, before I start the announcements, uh, Daniel Thomas, you know that he is going to Asia in July. I think I'm ringing a little bit. To Asia in July. And uh, you guys have been so amazing to help him meet the need of $5,800. He... Uh, First, let me just say, God met it above and beyond. Hallelujah. And we have a video that we'll share next week. I forgot to give it to Lynn. But uh, he called, and he was just so excited. Uh, Grandview Church really stepped in and helped make this happen. He said, Pastor, he said a month ago, I only had $600. And he said, and in a month, everything came in plus. He ended up with, I think, uh, huh? 6,000? Yeah, it was like 6,000. It was like 6,050 dollars, something like that. But it was over the, he had $200 over. So it was 6,000. And, uh, and so, his uh, financial mission person that helps him said, well, what do you want to do with the other $200? He said, well, I want to give it to the team because the team is all looking for money. Isn't that amazing? Amen. Thank you, Grandview. And then I believe there was $746 beyond what we sent for uh, him to have money as he goes on his trip, that he would have money for his needs and to minister to whoever he wants to. But isn't that amazing? Our God is amazing. Jeremy Thomas, this is Rhea, this is mom, and Jeremy will be home, uh, I think, the first Sunday in May, and we'll be able to hopefully get him back on the keyboard. That will be great, and then Daniel will be, will be home in July. And so, and then we have teens getting ready to uh, go to college. I'm like, no, 
No. And I know Alyssa will be leaving, and there may be one other. But uh, anyhow, we're just so proud of our youth, aren't we? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So if you're with us uh, today for the first time, or maybe the first time in a long time, we are just so glad that you are here, that you are worshiping with us uh, at GVC and online. Those that are watching online, you're a part of our hearts, you're a part of the family, and we welcome you today. Amen. Can you give those that are watching online a big hand? Well, anyhow, we welcome everybody, and if you are with us for the first time, we'd like to get to know a little bit about you, what brought you here, and there is a card, and it's the new, new to GVC, and it's in the pocket of the chair that is in front of you, and so if you would just pull that out and fill it out for us. And you can put it in the offering basket, or you can take it to the table that is in front of the cameras back there, and someone will be there to greet you and to thank you for being with us, and they will give you what we call a surf bottle, and in it, there's a book that Jamie wrote that says, God loves you, we wrote it for you. There's candy, there's a pen, there's all kinds of good, good things in there, but we just want you to know how thankful we are that you chose to be with us today and that all of our GVC family is here today. Amen. Would you give yourselves a hand? And remember, we're a family. We're a family. Amen. And I'm just going to do this right now before I move on to the other announcements. We're a family. Amen. Amen. And we rejoice when people rejoice, and we step in and help when people are in need or they need prayer. I just want to share two things with you. One, Minister Marianne, her daughter, uh, was having dinner on her birthday, had a reaction to peanuts, ended up in the ICU. This was on Wednesday, and it, we ended up in ICU, the throat totally closed. And I tell you, God did a miracle, didn't he? You want to come real quick and tell him the miracle? Hallelujah. Um, well, I had to run out of here on Wednesday and um, tried to get a hold of Brian, who was asleep in Missouri. And, of course, he had his hearing aids out. Tried to get a hold of my ex-husband. That was, anyway... So I called pastors. <laughs> they prayed with me because they could probably tell I was about to lose it. And then I finally got Brian, and I just said, you know, this is what's happened to Jennifer, and you're out of town, and Chuck's blah, blah, and here I am again. <laughs> and he's like, well, you don't need to drive by yourself. I said, this is my daughter. I'm going to Port St. Lucie. And I got a little self-pity party. I'll tell him myself. I don't mind. I just was like for about five seconds. He says, let me pray for you. And I said, well, okay, but hurry up. I got to go. So he did. And then the minute I hung up, Pastor Whiney calls, not knowing anything really other than Deb Julian shared something and says, I'm on my way. I'll be there in 45 minutes. And she drove with me and we got down there. And on the way down there, the highway was blocked and we were seeing the red on the screen and everything. But God, I knew if we went the other way, we would be hours out. And I didn't really know what was happening yet. And so God just cleared, he parted the Red Sea. And we went straight down the turnpike, never had to get off or anything. <laughs> we got to her. And of course, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't um, what I wanted to see. And the prognosis wasn't good, but the hospital was phenomenal, and the staff was phenomenal, and the next day they tried to take her off of the life support, and it was not pretty, it was ugly, so back on, and they knocked her out, so then she's out of it, but then the next day God just came through, and pastors were praying, and all of you were praying, so many of you were praying, and um, she's home now. She came home yesterday. Yeah. Brian got back from Missouri, and um, 
And the neatest thing was our biggest prayer from a lot of everybody here and myself was God speak to her while she's in this. And first she, she saw my dad who said, it's not time for you yet. And she heard the song, I am who you say that I am. And um, she has been sharing that with me this morning. She called and she shared with me and um, Brian and her sister are with her because it was time for mom to go home because mom was like, eat, drink, walk, talk. You know, <laughs> she's like, you can go now. And I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> Brian can stay, but you can go. And so <laughs> here I am and he's with her and her sister will be with her till Tuesday. So I just give God all the glory, but we are a family. And I thank you for all of you that were sending me and praying and standing in agreement for it because it's truly the doctors were shocked and they said it is a miracle hallelujah amen god is good and then all, all the time then i want to lift up and i don't know if they're watching today uh david and sarah felix they always sit right over there and uh, David has been battling um, symptoms, and uh, we're just asking God for a miracle for him, you know. Uh, if he goes home, he's ready to go home to the Lord, but that's not our prayer, and that's not our desire. So can we, as a, I want us to really know we're a family, We're not churchgoers that fill a seat on a Sunday or a Wednesday. You're my brother. You're my sister. You're my brother. You're my sister. You're my brother. You're my sister. And you are part of my heart. And that means for all of us. Amen. And the Lord's just been impressing on me. If you're a family, you got to know each other's names. Amen? you got to know each other's names. So let's be bold. And if we don't know somebody's name, it's okay to ask, what, can I ask what your name is? I've seen you. I've been praying for you. But I just want to be able to call you by name. Would anybody be offended if someone came up and asked your name? Come on, let me hear it. No. no. And you know, some of us that said no, there's people we don't know your name. And, but that doesn't mean we don't love you. We love you. We just haven't had that moment to get your name. So a family knows each other. Amen? So uh, I wish I had a picture of David and Sarah, but they're precious. They've been here for years. They always sit right over there. Church, would you stand with me and let's pray. We're going to pray for our brother and sister. They have a beautiful son, David, that is helping to take care of her, his father. Heavenly Father, you said if two or three are gathered together, there I am in the midst of them. I thank you, Lord, that you are in the midst of us. And, Father, we just extend the word of God. We extend healing anointing. We extend the presence of God to Sarah and David and their son, David. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that healing flows through David Felix from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Lord, Father, that if he needs a miracle, you are the miracle working God. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we just say to every organ you work according to the word of God. We say, Lord, to pain be gone in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. You have already healed us. So we declare together as a family that our brother David is the healed of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we say he is the healed of the Lord in Jesus' name. And we give you praise for that. And we give you glory. And everyone said, amen, amen, amen. All right, you can be seated and I'll finish real quick. Do you know what this Friday is? Faith and Family Conference. We're a family. 
so the whole family should be here. You know what? Because there may be some things that we'll learn about each other. It's just going to be a great weekend, Friday night at 7 o'clock, Saturday at 10 o'clock, then lunch, and then another session after that. Pastors Nate and Ronnie are anointed. They are precious, and they're coming here from Texas to minister to us. And so everybody, unless, hear me, hear me, unless if you've got something that you cannot uh, get out of, as a church family, I encourage all of us, all of us, to come and to receive from this anointed weekend. Amen? It's not about being married. It's not about having kids. Even if I wasn't married to him, I'd still be here. <laughs> I'd still be here. Amen? All right. April the 26th, our teens are having a fun night. It's movie popcorn, and just a lot of fun. So parents, make sure that your teens are here at 7 o'clock. And then the next day, that Saturday, is 55 plus for couples. Uh, yeah, this is a couple so that you're married and you're 55 or older. And this time, it's going to ignore the time there. It's at 1 o'clock, right? It's at 1 o'clock uh, at uh, ministers Brian and Marianne Trues, and they're having barbecue and a lot of fun. And so you'll love it over there. So make sure you get signed up. May 2nd is National Day of Prayer. Can you believe we're talking about May? But this is Thursday at noon on May 2nd. If you are available to come and pray corporately with us, come and join the intercessors here in the sanctuary, and our country needs us praying. Israel needs us praying. I know pastor will pray for Israel, but uh, we just need to pray. You know, God will hear our prayers. Amen? And I believe and I trust them to heal our land. And if you're looking for a place to serve or if you're not serving, we're always looking for uh, people to join our helps ministry. And so we need, there's three areas. We need help in the bookstore. We need help in uh, next-gen ministry and also to help with landscaping. And I believe still see Harry, Harry. Uh, for uh, issues with the landscaping on the teen zone property. All right, would you make my babe welcome? Good job, Deb. Praise the Lord. We do want to pray for Israel. Amen. Things are heating up. And uh, we stand with Israel. Amen. We're all in. Amen. Israel is the apple of God's eye. Amen. And the United States... We've been waffling, we've been doing some not good things, but we better stick with Israel if we want the blessings of the Lord on our country. <laughs> the Bible says God will judge the nations according to how the nations treat His nation, Israel. So we better do right. Amen? Amen. Do you know God wants to open the windows of heaven above your head and pour out a blessing on your life? Say, open it up, Lord. He wants to pour out a blessing more than you can contain. Amen. That overflows your life. <laughs> I got no amens on that. Blessings that overflow your life and bless those around you. This is what the Bible says. Bring all the tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and try me in this. Now try tithing. I've been tithing for 40 plus years. I say try it. It works. <laughs> it does. It really does. Now says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing that there will not even be room enough to receive it. Hallelujah. God wants you blessed Amen. beyond blessings. Isn't that good news? We have, a, we have a heavenly father that wants us blessed. He's not a withholder. He's a giver in abundance, abundantly above all that we could ask or think. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, 
tithing is a principle that I live by. Debbie and I have always been uh, tithers. Tithing is a principle this church lives by. This church tithes on the tithes that come into the church. Amen. We tithe to ministries outside our walls, and, and uh, we believe in it. Now, tithing is not based for the Christian, is not based on the Levitical priesthood, it's based on the Melchizedek priesthood. And that's why tithing is not passed away for the New Testament church. Often you will hear people, Christians, say, well, tithing is old covenant, that has passed away, now we just need to be led, led by the Spirit. Well, okay, if you're led by the Spirit, why are we giving less than 10%? <laughs> you think the Spirit's going to back up? No. <laughs> Come on now. No, tithing hasn't passed away because we give according to the Levitical priest, I mean, according to the Melchizedek priesthood, Abraham tithed to Melchizedek long before there was a law, long before there was a Moses. So, say, I love, I love that the windows, the windows of heaven are open above my head. Are you ready to sow into the kingdom? Let's do it right now. Let's hold our seat up before the Lord. And uh, Pastor Jose up and pray over our offering hallelujah thank you Debs. praise the lord heavenly father we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground pastor will you pray padre en el nombre de jesus clamamos por las ofrendas dios mío gracias padre por el dador alegre como dice tu palabra gracias señor por aquel dios mío que en esta mañana va a ofrendar dios mío bendice esa ofrenda permite dios mío que podamos seguir cubriendo padre cada gasto cada cosa que haces en este lugar Dios mío porque queremos seguir ensanchando no queremos Dios mío llegar a otros lugares llegar Dios mío a donde aquel Dios mío no recibe tu palabra queremos llegar a los que están por internet también Señor y queremos Dios mío bendecir a cada uno Padre gracias por eso para la gloria de tu nombre amén Señor y amén and Heavenly Father we pray for the peace of Jerusalem we pray Father God that you would intervene mightily into the welfare of Israel. Put your guards along the border, Lord. Strike down every missile, every drone, every rocket fired at Israel. You just swat them down, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that every nation that rises its hand against Israel be brought to naught in the name of Jesus. And Lord God Almighty, speak to everybody in every office in this nation that we support Israel. In Jesus' holy name, the church said amen. Thank you. If you bind it, if you bind it on earth, I'll bind it in heaven. If you loose it on earth, I'll loose it in heaven. Just ask today, believe what it says is done. If you bind it, if you bind it on earth, I'll bind it in heaven. If you loose it on earth, I'll loose it in heaven. Just ask and say, believe what it says is done. I'll give you keys to the kingdom. I'll give you keys to the kingdom. Access, access, access to, to my throne room. Then you will see. Then you will see all the promises. Everything, everything I've given to you. Authority, all the things as though they were finding problems, finding problems, losing blessings, losing blessings. The power the is power yours. Is yours. If, you find it, if you find it, if you find it on earth, I'll find it in heaven. If you lose it on earth, I'll lose it in heaven. Just ask the thing, believe what he says. Just ask, just ask.